Hello. In this lesson, we'll look at velocity. We'll remind ourselves what it means and say something about how to calculate it. We'll also look at average speed and how to find average velocity. The term a constant velocity or uniform velocity is an important one. We'll make sure we understand what it means. You might find it handy to have a pen and paper because at some points I'll suggest trying something for yourself. So if you want to pause the video, you can get your pen and paper now. Let's make a start. Velocity, as I hope you already know, is a vector. What that means, it's got a magnitude, a size, which in this case is the speed. And it's got a direction. So for example, you can have a velocity of 5 meters per second to the east. The 5 meters per second part is the speed and the direction is to the east. That set of information, the speed and the direction, is the velocity. We use different symbols of velocity. V is quite common, but other letters are used as well. You'll often see U used. Here's a formula I hope you've seen many times before. Speed is distance moved over time taken. Speed is distance over time. Can we have a similar formula to work out velocity? And the answer is yes. Instead of distance moved, we're going to use displacement. So velocity is displacement over the time taken. And if we're using x for displacement, we could write v is x over t. Now that's different to the speed equation because we've got to consider direction. So if we work out a velocity, the magnitude of the velocity, the speed part, is simply the magnitude of the displacement, which is the distance, over the time. And the direction of the velocity is the same as the direction of the displacement. Let's do an example to illustrate this. Suppose it takes 100 seconds to perform a displacement of 200 meters to the east. The question is, what is the velocity? Pause to think about this for yourself. And the answer is, well, to work out the velocity, we need the magnitude and the direction. The magnitude, which is the speed, is simply the magnitude of the displacement, which is a distance, it's 200 meters over the time, 100 seconds. So the magnitude of the velocity is 2 meters per second. And the direction of the velocity is east. Don't forget you're expected to give a direction if you're saying what a vector is. The direction is east. And that's the same as the displacement. So it's fairly intuitive, I hope. What about average speed? This is where things might get a little trickier. I hope you know that average speed is total distance moved over time. So if you're performing a journey at different speeds at different times in the journey, to get your average speed, you look at the total distance and divide by the time. Is there a way to work out average velocity? Well, there may be several displacements. And the answer is, the average velocity is the total displacement rather than total distance. So it's a resultant displacement over the time. That means the magnitude of the average velocity, which is that symbol, is the magnitude of the resultant displacement, r, over the time. And the direction of the average velocity is the same as the direction of the resultant displacement. Let's do an example to illustrate this. Suppose you've got point A. 100 metres to the right of it is point B. And 50 metres to the left of point A is C. Let's say it takes 100 seconds to travel from A to B, then back to A, and then on to C. That's three displacements. We've gone from A to B, from B to A, and then from A to C. So we could regard that as three displacements. We want to work out the average speed and the average velocity. 
so this is a good opportunity to do some thinking for yourself pause the video and try and work this out for yourself <coughs> excuse me well I hope you've tried that the average speed is fairly straightforward the total distance you've moved is 100 another 150 250 meters distance is always positive we don't care what direction we're going the average speed is therefore 250 meters over 100 seconds which is 2.5 meters per second now let's do the average velocity we start by working out the resultant displacement and we could add the three separate ones together there's plus 100 meters that's a to b minus 100 meters that's b to a and then minus 50 meters that's a to c to give us minus 50 meters because this is movement in a straight line we could very easily have worked out the displacement we started at a and we finished at c the displacement is simply the vector taking us from a to c it's minus 50 whichever way you do it we're going to work out the average velocity by taking the minus 50 and dividing by the time that gives us minus 0.5 meters per second and that is the average velocity what it means is it's to the left it's negative and the 0.5 meters per second means that if we started at a and moved at 0.5 meters per second relatively slowly to the left then after 100 seconds we end up at C it has the same overall effect as the three separate displacements in 100 seconds look at the average velocity minus 0.5 and the average speed 2.5 and they're totally different numbers so we have to be very careful not to mix up average speeds and average velocities they don't mean the same thing at all here's a question let's suppose you run a lap on the running track at 5 meters per second what is your average velocity pause to try this for yourself and the answer is like it or not zero that's because your resultant displacement is zero you haven't moved you start and end at the same position if you do one lap and displacement is the overall effect of your movement if you start and end at the same position your displacement is zero no matter how far you've moved therefore your velocity which is displacement over time is still zero here's another problem suppose it takes 20 seconds to complete the two displacements shown the two displacements are the red one you start here bottom right 10 meters to the left and then you go up and at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal say another 10 meters what is your average velocity pause to work this one out this is an important one and we start by working out the resultant displacement and assuming you know how to add vectors the resultant displacement you'll see is this white arrow it's 10 meters and it's at 60 degrees to the horizontal how do I know well it's an equilateral triangle these two sides are 10 and this angle is 60 so the resultant must also be 10 meters long and at an angle of 60 degrees I might be measuring angles anti-clockwise from the horizontal in which case I'd have to say the angle was 120 degrees so the magnitude of the average velocity is 10 meters over 20 seconds which is 0.5 meters per second and the direction of the average velocity is 120 degrees to the horizontal measuring anti-clockwise from the horizontal so that's how we can work out an average velocity let's talk about the term constant or uniform velocity suppose planet X goes around a star in a circular orbit and it's going at a constant speed of a, a thousand meters per second now the question is is the planet's velocity constant to be constant it means not changing 
So that's the question. Is the velocity constant? Pause to think about that. And the answer is no, it is not constant. The speed is constant, but the direction is continually changing. Velocity is a vector. It's got a speed and a direction. And if the direction is changing, then the vector is changing. On the diagram, you can see the planet will sometimes be moving right, sometimes down, sometimes left, sometimes up, and not all the angles in between. So the direction is definitely not constant. So what does a constant or uniform velocity mean? Well, it means something that is a constant speed, obviously, but also a constant direction not changing direction. So that means something that has a steady speed and is moving in a straight line. Well that's all we need to say. Thank you for watching.